historic cities, mountains, forests and meadows, and a castle on a volcano. These are just a few of the highlights of Styria, one of Austria's nine federal states. Wanna know more? Then join me as we discover yet another unknown corner of Central Europe. Hello and welcome to 7 Facts. Styria, or Steiermark in German, is the second largest state of Austria. Which might sound impressive, but in actuality it's as big as Montenegro and Luxembourg put together. And yet, it's one of the EU's and automatically the world's most developed and prosperous regions. Industrial and technological innovation, ecotech and health tech are defining Styria's economy along with a very prosperous tourism industry. The landscapes are breathtaking, the cities and towns are well maintained, culture, art and literature are right at home here. Sounds like a dreamland. So I think it'll be well worth digging a little deeper and find out what makes Styria tick. As usual, we first take a look at the history. At first, in antiquity, this wasn't a German land. Celts used to live here until they were conquered and became a part of the Roman Empire. Germanic tribes gradually came in and settled here, and Slavs arrived around the 7th century AD. Under Charlemagne, Styria became a borderland and this was the point in history when Germans consolidated their presence here. One of the hardest periods for Styrians was in the 16th and 17th centuries. In those years, Styria was attacked by Ottoman Turks nearly 20 times. As a result, the land suffered severely and was depopulated. In the modern era, Styria's most important point was after World War I, when the Duchy of Styria ceased to exist and was split between the newly founded countries of Austria and Yugoslavia. To this day, about a third of the former duchy, with a Slovene majority, remains a part of Slovenia. The capital city of Styria is Austria's second largest city, Graz. Apart from being a powerful economic and educational centre, Graz is also one of the most beautiful cities in Central Europe. The historic centre was added to the UNESCO World Heritage List and for good reason. The many historic buildings represent a harmonious blend between Central European, Italian and Balkanic influences. Outside the historic quarter, the city is littered with both old and new structures, museums, art galleries, theatres and so on. Graz was nominated in the past as the cultural capital of Europe, so rest assured you'll have plenty to see and do in Graz. Outside the capital, Styria seems to be even more amazing, if such a thing is possible. This state is popularly known as the Green Heart of Austria. Nearly two-thirds of Styria is covered by forests, and the rest are green meadows, pastures, orchards and vineyards. And mountains, of course. The Alps also make their presence felt here. Styria has been a mountaineering center of Europe for over two centuries now. If you think I'm exaggerating a bit, let me tell you this. As I said, Styria is a small state and it houses only 1.2 million people. But the number of tourists that come to Styria every year is about 10 times more. Everybody loves castles. They're old, big and awesome. But Styria said, no, that's not enough, let's step up a notch. So they built a castle on a volcano. Rigesburg Castle is a big medieval castle that sits on an old dormant volcano. Granted, the people who built the castle had no idea what they were building on. This volcano became extinct some 2 million years ago. They also probably didn't realize that the rocks they used to build Rigersburg was the lava that once flowed from the crater. Regersburg Castle is today owned by the princely family of Liechtenstein, the rulers of the country bearing their name. But it's been around since 1122 AD, so it had many owners before. In these centuries, Regersburg was the only safe place for the people, from the attacking Turks, Hungarians and many other invaders. Nowadays it's a museum, so you're free to explore and enjoy the amazing history of this volcanic castle. A natural landmark of Styria looks like it belongs in a Lord of the Rings book. The Grüne See, or Green Lake, is an astoundingly beautiful lake near the village of Tragus. 
Surrounded by mountains and forests, the lake's water has an emerald green hue, making it look like a fairy tale scenery. The water comes from melting snows, so it's quite cold all year round. This fact also makes it a unique place to visit. During winter, water levels drop and the lake is only 2 meters deep. Around this shrunken lake, there's a park with benches and footpaths. But once spring arrives, the lake fills with water and grows to a depth of about 12 meters. It is at this time you need to take diving lessons, go underwater and find the benches, paths, bridges, trees and meadows now submerged. Styria is a cool place, literally. As a mountainous area, it doesn't get a lot of tropical temperatures. Everything here is green and there are lots and lots of rivers and lakes. But that might change soon and not for the better. Temperature studies seem to indicate that parts of Styria are particularly susceptible to global warming. Since the 1960s, the average annual temperature has risen by no less than 3 degrees Celsius. And that's a problem. Since temperatures are still on the rise, Styria can pretty much expect the worst. Apart from killer heat waves and warm winters, many important rivers might dry up completely in the summer. While Austria is a world leader in renewable energy, that won't help them with this. In fact, there's not much they can really do to prepare. Please leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this content. Leave your comments downstairs and don't forget there's a Patreon page where you can support this channel. I hope to see you next time. Bye.